Attention! You will need a jailbroken iDevice with iOS 4 or above for this to work. If your iDevice is not jailbroken, you can easily search on YouTube how to jailbreak your iDevice. And once you are jailbroken, return to this video to continue. Make sure you own the game that you are downloading from legal backup site. Wasabi! Operation iDroid here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories on your iDevice. And now to do this correctly, we're going to need three things. The first one being GPS phone. Second, Safari Download Enabler, and lastly, GBA BIOS. And to get these three things, we'll need to go into Cydia. So open your Cydia up, and once it finishes loading, we can go ahead and do a search for GPS phone. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that unfortunately, GPS phone has been removed from sale on the Cydia uh, market. So as you can see, when we click on GPS phone, it says removed from sale. And this is really sad because GPS Phone is a great Game Boy Advance emulator on Cydia and I enjoy to use it. So we're going to work around this and still get GPS Phone. Now to do this, we're going to have to go into the Manage tab right here. And then we are going to add a source by clicking Edit at the top right and then Add at the top left. And we're going to add the source repo.insanedi.com. So it goes R E P O period i n s a n e l y i dot com and we're going to click on add source and it's going to verify and a prompt will show up and we are going to click on add anyway as soon as that pops up and there it is so we're going to click on add anyway and it will load and update your source but I am going to click cancel because I already have this source but once it's done it's going to say return to Cydia Oh, I just added the source again, but you'll see after it reloads the data, it will say return to Cydia. So let's go ahead and hit that. Now we're going to go into the search tab and research a GPS phone. And we'll now see that we have another GPS phone. And as you can see, it's this pink application icon looking right here that says I gamed. And what we're going to do is click on install at the top right. And then we're going to click on continue queuing because we're going to get two other things on Cydia. So we're going to go back to the search and now we're going to search GBA space BIOS and that is the package that we're going to get right there. And then at the top right we're going to click install and again continue queuing. And from here we're going to search for the last thing which is Safari download enabler. So let's go ahead and type that in the search and it's right here so let's click on that and at the top right we're going to click on install and confirm and now we'll, this will install GPS phone which is the emulator that allows us to play the games as well as install Safari download enabler which allows us to get games and the GBA BIOS which gives us the software to play the games on GPS phone so once this finishes it's going to ask us to restart our springboard so then this will close Cydia your device will load and load back and from there we'll continue on with the video now once springboard has restarted we are going to look for GPS phone on the springboard and as you can see I've located it and now we can go into Safari because we are going to go on coolrom.com to get Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memory. So we're going to type C O O L R O M dot com. And this will automatically direct us to their mobile website, as you can see. And from here, we are going to click on the ROM search. And we're going to search Chain of Memories just because it's keywords that are in the title of the game. Okay, and then we're going to click Enter or the Magnifying Glass, and as you can see, it has found it. It Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Game Boy Advance, and we are going to click on that. And this will direct us to the page of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, which is very nice with two screenshots of the game, the file name, the file size, this genre, system, how many times it's been downloaded with an impressive 1,217,663 downloads. I wonder if this video can get that many views. 
and of course a rating of 4.81 which is extremely good and now to download the ROM we're gonna scroll down and click on download now and this will automatically start the download and you will know that the download has begun because at the top of the screen where the URL was has now converted to a download manager so as you can see it shows the amount of megabytes that have been downloaded compared to the megabytes that need to be downloaded so this will quickly finish and we can continue anyways guys I really recommend that you play this game Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories is a great game and if you haven't played it before good luck and if you're replaying it then good decision because I've done it before and now from here what we're going to do is that we're going to click save on the top right and from save you should be at var mobile if you are not go back as far as you can and you will see var mobile here at the top and now what we're going to do is click on the folder media scroll down folder roms and gba and from here we can click save at the top right now we can go back to our home screen and into the GPS phone application and as you can see we now have Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories dot zip in the GPS phone application so let's go ahead and click on that and I will be playing in portrait and no sound just for video purposes and as you can see it is working but the screen is not filling up all the space that it can so I'm going to be showing you how to do that so click menu at the bottom left and quit to menu and you don't have to save so now we're going to go into options on the right and we are going to turn scaling on and this will allow us to use all the space that GPS phone allows when playing in portrait so now when I play in portrait and no sound again you'll see that it's now taking up all the space that it can and it looks very nice good high quality graphics thanks to the iDevices screen and it runs extremely smooth Alright, so now I have some tips for GPS phone. When playing a game, you can of course save within the game and you can also save with a save state from GPS phone. So as you can see here, I'm going to click on menu and then I can click on save currently loaded state. And then now when I exit the game, I'll go to my saves down here and the game is not here yet because when you save and you exit you will have to also exit the application and go right back into it and your save state will be there as you can see it is now here so that is how you save in GPS phone and now when I return I will be at the spot where I last saved my state so as you can see I am where I last saved and with GPS phone you can also play games in landscape so to do that we'll exit out of the game and we'll reopen the game and right when we start it gives us the option to play in portrait or landscape and of course with sound or without sound and you can play in whichever preference you like so when I play in landscape there are different skins so right here we have a Game Boy Micro skin and of course if you're gonna play with this skin you need to turn scaling off so let's go to the menu so I can show you another skin that you can play in landscape so quit to the menu you don't have to save and now go to options and when you play in landscape and you want to enable the full screen put it to skin 5 and now when we go back to our saves and play in landscape you'll see that we have the full screen enabled to play with invisible controls on it thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video anyways I have a couple of videos on the screen that you might want to watch so click on the one that you would like to see there are also links in the description to those videos and for more cool videos like this one or other cool videos that I intend to make and I make the videos that you guys ask for, click on that green subscribe button.